Hey what's up guys it's Rich and welcome to my first video of the day. This is going to be a nuclear that I got on the map Takeoff I believe. It was called Stadium in Black Ops 1 and I nearly said Stadium but yeah it's called Takeoff in this game. I kind of remodeled it to this weird sort of uh, rocket ship launch pad in the middle of the ocean which is pretty cool and of course it was called Stadium in Black Ops 1 so back then it was just like this big stadium and there's uh, you know crowded seats on the right hand side and stuff so uh, this gameplay uh, the new crew is a little bit slow but you have to remember the players that play this DLC, every single DLC that ever comes out, the players that are playing this within you know, the first week are always going to be better than the ones that are playing regular maps. The reason being is, if they have you know, invested in these new maps for Call of Duty, that must mean that they're, you know, most of the time, most people would you know, be experienced players, they get bored of the normal maps. Uh, because if you're a completely new player, there is no point in buying the new maps because uh, you know, the stock maps, so to speak, are completely new to you so there's no point buying them so the players on the DLC are a little bit more difficult so that's why I was playing with Benny and Liam because uh, it's just so much easier when you've got one or two teammates that are good and can get you VSATs and can help you on the flags if you need to and I don't think we lost we played for like two hours maybe two and a half hours we didn't lose we got a load of nuclears Benny got like five nuclears I got uh, two I believe and then I was playing it on my own a little bit earlier on and I got another two unfortunately um, they were both they're all on like two maps, so I got two on nuclear, uh, two on nuclear, two on dig, and then another two on takeoff, which is this map, which is disappointing because I wish they were spread across all four maps so I could upload four nuclears for you today, and they'd all be on the new maps, which would be cool. But unfortunately, as I said, they're on just two maps, so I'm gonna have to hop back on and see if I can't pull out any more gameplays, and I might live stream it again tonight as well because. Uh, I was going for the Diamond Assault Rifles, and if you're watching the stream yesterday, I had around 1,100 people in there, which was really good. Uh, I was streaming me trying to get the Diamond uh, Weaponry, because I haven't finished them all yet. I'm getting very close now. Uh, yesterday night, I finished off all of the Assault Rifles, which is why you can see the Diamond AM94 I'm using now. And I moved on to the Riot Shield, and I'm trying to get the Golden Riot Shield right now. It's the last primary weapon I need to get in Gold Camouflage. And it's ridiculous. That thing is ridiculous. I was playing hardcore and I was just lobbing, lobbing stun grenades for fun at everyone. And I was running up behind them and, you know, trying to smack with the riot shield because you need to get 100 kills with it. And people would just shoot through the riot shield. They would shoot the riot shield so you couldn't see anything through the riot shield. And it was it was very difficult. So maybe I'll stream a little bit more of that tonight because it, I'm sure it was very funny to watch me get frustrated at dying all the time because I'm trying to get kills with this stupid right shield. Uh, so maybe I'll live stream that a little bit later on tonight. Maybe I won't. I'm not really decided. But if you're watching this and you are a PC player or a PS3 player and you haven't been able to download the maps and you're wondering whether you should buy them or not in a month's time, or maybe you're an Xbox player and you you know you haven't had the chance to uh, buy them or you don't want to buy them and you just want to see what they're like or you're downloading them right now but you went on YouTube to see what they're like. If that's you uh, and you want to see you know, how the maps are, they are actually really good. They're some of my favourite DLC maps. The DLC maps for me have just been getting better and better for Black Ops 2 and I'm not just saying that because you know they invite me to events and stuff. I actually really enjoy playing the DLC maps that are in this, uh, this pack and because they're all small and close quarters and there's good lines of sight and stuff and they're actually good maps so you know there was questionable maps in previous uh, DLC packs but uh, on this one I actually enjoy playing all four of the maps that came with it so uh, unfortunately I haven't had a chance to play zombies yet I've seen uh, Syndicate was live streaming it, Dave, Dave the Rave was live streaming it, I believe Next Gen Tactics were live streaming it as well uh, and this is this big robot thing I don't know I don't have a clue what's going on maybe I'll try and play that in a few days time uh, obviously my channel is more based around and focused around the multiplayer so obviously I'm going to be playing those first and uh, this is where the nuclear is coming to an end now you can see I've just got my uh, VSAT as well and it's good when you play in a party you just get continuous VSATs because I call one in and then either Benny or Liam uh, manage, to, manage to get like their own VSAT because obviously I've got mine it's a little bit easier and uh, it just works well because we cycle through them and for the rest of the gameplay everyone's just leaving and joining and we know where everyone is so that's pretty much the video guys if you enjoyed this one be sure to leave me a like rating and I will hopefully have a dig nuclear up for you a little bit later on. Uh, dig by the way is Courtyard from World at War so it's a really good map and really fun to watch as well. So thanks for watching, really do appreciate it and I'll speak to you all a little bit later on. Bye.